We hope that you'll enjoy this episode. Just a reminder to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you for joining us for another one of our Let's Play sessions. We're playing Man Eater and uh, still early on in the game. Uh, you know, we figured out the controls, done a couple of the starter missions, and now we're going to try to get to this uh, third cave or this uh, grotto. I'm not really sure, uh, you know, how we get over there per se, but we're going to figure that out. And on the way, I'm sure we'll do some munching on some uh, fish and turtles and things of that nature, maybe an alligator if we see one. Uh, they're a lot level than us, but we'll have some fun with it. Alright, let's start with the turtle, I guess. Still don't know how to get this sign up here. See the sign? I don't want to jump high enough yet, so maybe I gotta wait till I get higher level, I'm not sure. We're only in level 5, so we can't really take on the two here. There's a little 15 crocodiles somewhere in this mess. And, uh, which way am I supposed to be going? Let's look at our map here. Okay. So actually... We need to go to the We go back to the game a little bit. Okay, check that map again. Go to our right. Let's go ahead and try to back here. Some kind of little portal here. I wonder if that's how we get in. I do not want that level 15 crocodile. He's killed me a few times. I'm not ready for him yet. There may come a day, but it's just not. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge? hitting that F button when I'm in a fight so I can turn around and face the fish. I keep trying to do it manually. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Yeah, I kind of lack dietary discrimination in real life too. Alright, let's see here. 
diverse ecosystems on the planet. I go to go out to maybe the ocean? Maybe? Alright, we'll try that. Looks like there's a cave. Let's try that. small ones while I'm going, just to keep my health up. There's a big vent here. Every shark, no matter how small or docile, is anatomically a potential source of danger. go across land for that. But it seems like maybe the way to see, maybe, but I guess I'm right here. I'm gonna try to go across the land and see if I can get into that. I don't know if I can or not, but it doesn't look like this. That's the situation nice. looks dire if the big fish doesn't find water soon.
harder to see me. That's good. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. continues its work of creating balanced ecosystems here and throughout the wild world. Alright, so I guess let's go about the way I came. Looks like this was just a little pond or something. The shark proves as slippery as it is dead. So we found this little hidden, um, you know, hidden area, which was nice. Had some nice level six fish in it, so we could eat those. Had a lot of experience points. And we found one of these crates, so you know, I think that's pretty good progress. We'll keep trying to find a way to this lake grotto here. Um, you know, so you know, join us for our next episode. Hopefully, we'll make it to the grotto next time.